Hello everyone and welcome to Family Forecraft. Today I'm going to show you how to take your image that you printed off on transfer paper to fabric which today I want to do a pillow. The image I'm going to be using is actually the image that I just did with my last video. My flowscape image. It's actually really really cool and if you want to turn to your print cut, I can easily make a video of that as well with this kind of image. They are so much fun. If you haven't watched my flowscape video, you totally should. It is amazing. So the so the material that you're going to try to need is, of course, your fabric that you're going to be picking out. I picked black. Your sewing, machi sewing machine with matching thread. Of course, your transfer paper, which I used. No, a new fun activities. And then I have a little heat mat here for myself. And then like a little you can use scissors or even like a little paper cutter. And then of course your heat press or your iron, whichever you prefer. When I first printed off with the transfer paper with this kind of image, I kind of had to do it twice because I kind of messed up. So it makes a big difference. So when I did it the first time, I did just regular paper. As you can see, it's kind of faded out a bit and when I actually read the instructions it turned to me I need to do the glossy which I did and it actually turned out a whole lot better as you can see it's a little bit darker so a little bit big difference so make sure you turn and do that so we're gonna go ahead and get started I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut this up really quickly heat pad or whatever you prefer to use and then I'm going to go ahead and take my fabric that is and of course what depends on the size of the pillow insert you're going to be using kind of varies the size of how big you need to cut your fabric I am using an 18 by 18 pillow insert So you're going to be wanting to cut the big piece, which you can put your transfer on, is 18 by 18. And then you're going to need an 18 by 13 piece, and then 18 by 14 piece. They said it always go a little inch higher. I don't like it because I feel like it's going to be a little baggy. So what you're going to try and do here is you're going to turn and separate the backing from your transfer paper. There we go. And then place it where you want it. So I think right there is perfect. And then you're going to take your iron or heat press. And you're also going to need like parchment paper or something. So of course I have parchment paper here, which I totally forgot. And you're going to put that on top. And then you're going to put your whole body weight into this. So as you can see, I got a good chunk of it. I still have a little bit more to do. But that's okay. Because I'd rather make sure this is actually on and then not. And have it coming apart.
Alright, and then you're gonna take your parchment paper off. Oops, okay, I kinda got a little bit. Oopsies. Alright, so kinda watch how you do that because I guess overlapping it is not okay, but I mean that it's not too bad. You know, gotta learn somehow. But as you can see it looks like it literally is just I me mean, is like it looks like a almost like a picture frame to me. Except for that dark spot, which I'm not liking. So I guess I kinda have to double check up with that one. Alright. So once you have your image on, well then gee, I kinda want this to lean out so I know which way to go. So with me, I'm gonna instead of there we go. This way, okay. Sorry, I had to make sure which way I needed to go. So you can try and pin this however you want to try and do it. I'm just gonna wing it. So you're gonna kind of fold it in, by about an inch, give or take, inwards, and then you're just gonna sew. This is gonna be one of the bases that you're gonna be using. And then you're going to take your image dot pillow and make sure you have the flap be part that you just sewn on the outside. If you don't and you flip it inside out, it's going to look funny. And then you're just going to pin all the way around. So when you're done sewing it all the way around, of course you made the little squares, you're gonna wanna kinda cut those off. Not 
a whole lot, but just like, you know, so you have a little bit of space in between. And then once you've done that, you're going to want to turn this inside out. And then when you turn to that, get in the little corners, you're going to want to put your finger or something and kind of poke the corner out so you have a nice little crisp corner there. And then, of course, you're going to want to insert your pillow. Kind of once you've inserted it, you're gonna want to kind of pop out the corners. And there you have. Of course, a little bit darker on one side. And that, I mean, I think it looks kind of good, except for my little mistake, kind of overheating it on a certain little section. But and that, that, I think it turned out really good. And you will have now pretty much the landscape from Flowscape that you turn around and made yourself. I enjoy it. I love it. I think it looks amazing. I really do. Check out the website. I will have that also linked down below. It's only $10. Totally should get it because you can make these yourself. Uh, and you can even use it not just on a pillowcase but for, you know, probably like a tote bag or even a hat or something. So like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.